After exiting the Champions League in the last game with a defeat to Wolfsburg at home at Old Trafford, we were absolutely gutted about it, but we still got two more competitions to play for, the FA Cup and the Premier League. And the first game of today's episode is in the former. We've got the FA Cup quarterfinal clash here with Manchester United against our rivals, Manchester City. A big game for us right now. I'm targeting two trophies in my first season with United. We've, of course, won one already in the Capital One Cup final. Uh, sorry, in the Capital One Cup after we beat Southampton in the final. So coming to this game here against Manchester City, if we get a domestic cup double, I'd absolutely love that. A win in this game will send us back to Wembley in the FA Cup semi-finals. The one thing we really want to avoid is a replay due to the fixture congestion and the stamina problems, but even so, need to make sure we don't go out and have back-to-back -back defeats. This is a game we cannot afford to lose, man. Like, seriously, going out of the Champions League in the last game here at Old Trafford, We've, we've got to return to winning ways in this game, especially because it's an FA Cup quarter final. And, you know, even more dramatic, I guess. We're taking on our rival City. We need to get a win in this game. And uh, if we can win by a couple of goals as well, really get the fans back on our side, we'll take it. But uh, first chance could come here. Rooney on the ball. I'm going to make a run behind company if he can play me through. What a ball this is. Can I cut past the last defender? Yes, I can. But Caballero makes the save. And Van Persie shows also saved by Caballero. And the City goalkeeper with a superb double save. And he keeps it at 0 0. My finishing is just not good enough. I missed a great chance in the last game against Wolfsburg right at the end. Oh, wait, give me the ball there, give me the ball there. And uh, I missed a great chance here against City. And then I put that shot just wide of the post. My finishing is just not that great. And, you know, sometimes I do see some of you ask me why I don't score too many goals, why I don't shoot much. This is why I can't put the ball in the back of the net. That's not my main asset. My main asset is getting the assist, which I like to do. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Big chance missed early on there. Should have been 1-0, and I messed up the one-on-one. -on -one. Another corner to United then, and it goes from Di Maria to the near post, and it's missed everyone, and is it going to get turned in? Oh, my goodness, it has. Oh, my goodness. Who was that? Was that Sanya or Clichy taking over the line? I think it was Clichy who got the last touch. That's just comical. There isn't even any pressure on the City players. Rooney the Van Persie is stationary. And it's an own goal for actually Bakary Sanya, the former Arsenal right back. And we take the lead. That is just terrible. Dear, oh dear. I cannot believe that they let that ball trickle into the back of their own net. That was just shambolic defending. United 1, City 0. Own goal for Bakary Sanya. And from kickoff, we want it back straight away. And I can see Di Maria making a run. And this could be a great chance for 2-0. It's Angel Di Maria. Great save by Caballero. And it's cleared away. And that almost was 2-0 to United. We have started very brightly here. And we got City on the back foot early on. It's Bakary Sanya towards Scott Sinclair. Space down the right-hand side for Sinclair. Now back to Sanya. Inside it goes. And Milner finds Higuain. Great chance here. He shoots. Valdez saves. And dives on the rebound as well. Good thinking from Valdez there. Had to dive on the rebound quickly. And did so. I see Rooney running down the left-hand side there. I'll try and play him through. Uh, Rakit cuts it out only temporarily, though. Back towards Rooney. I'll take it back. Quick little scoop turn inside. This is a good chance here. I'll poke it through towards Van Persie. Big block by Vincent Company, And he turns it behind for a corner. If he's not there, that could easily be 2-0. And it's also Van Persie's last piece of action in the game because he's been subbed off. Di Maria's corner towards Johnny Evans. Evans turns and shoots. And that's not far off target from Evans. But it's still 1-0. Is Vidal. And Vidal turns, crosses the ball into the centre, looking for Higuain. Oh, it's a great header by Higuain. And City are back on level terms. That is such a simple goal. Just a cross into the box. Higuain gets on the end of it, pops it past Valdez, and it's 1-1. That is just, that's easy. That, that's the sort of thing you just have to defend against, man. Like, seriously, there's no build-up play. It's just a simple cross into the box, and Higuain heads in in from the centre. That's just, that's really, really poor. And there's two men on him there. There's got Jones and Reese James as well. One of those is got to get to that man seriously that's just not good enough defending in the center or to uh, stop the cross from coming in easy easy goal City haven't really done too much in this game they got themselves back on level terms though and it's 1-1 it's my ball from Valdez's kick out and I'll try and take it around Scott Sinclair. I can see Wilson at the far post. If I can pick him out here, this could be a really good chance. And what a ball that was. Wilson to Johnny Evans. Evans towards Mata. Mata back to Evans. Towards Mata. Now towards Will Keane. Good chance here. Still Will Keane. I'll have the ball there if you want. I'm going to play this all the way to the far post. In it goes. Hanging the cross towards Evans. Headed away. Still a chance. Cleverly. Matter, matter inside to Di Maria. Now to Wilson inside, flick backwards. Not fully dealt with. It's going to come to me. I'll strike it, and it's wide of the post. I just got to stop shooting. And there is the full-time whistle. The one thing that we were looking to avoid was a replay due to fixture congestion and stamina problems. 
What have we got? A replay at the Etihad Stadium in probably a few days to come. Really disappointing to not win that game. We played really well, but the problem was the finishing just wasn't good enough. Caballero did well in goal, yes, but I hold my hands up. I had a poor game, to be honest. I got a 6.5, 82% uh, passing, but I failed with over, I think that's, is that 12 passes? I, you know, I, I failed with. That's just not good enough for a central midfielder of someone with my passing stats. That was really poor. I did not play well. I really did. I missed a great chance in the first couple of minutes and you know when you look at those stats you say yes we should have won and yes we should have done but you got to put the ball in the back of the net and you know Sanya's comical own goal was the only the only goal we scored we had so many opportunities to score from my finishing was poor the teammates didn't do their job either it just you know as a team we, we played well but we just didn't put the ball in the back of the net enough times and that's why we'll have a replay so disappointed about that but uh, even so hopefully we'll get the job the, the job done at the Etihad Stadium but I'll be back for the next game just a moment's time Time and uh, I'll see you for that in just a minute. So a disappointing draw against Manchester City in the FA Cup quarterfinal means there will be a replay soon enough with City away at the Etihad Stadium. But after that, I saw that I was not called up to the England squad for the upcoming friendlies, which was really, really frustrating because, yes, it will give me a break and a chance to recharge my batteries as I've been running out of fitness of late. That's presumably the reason why I missed out of this game against Sunderland away at the stadium. But like Van Howe decided not to pick me and we drew the game by one goal each after the Fogue Sunderland leading the first half and then eight minutes after the restart, Pereira equalised. We drew that game by a goal each. I didn't play any part of it. Rojo's returning from injury. That's great to see. I'm back to full fitness for this game against Bolton as well. But starting to get a little bit nervous, of course. Don't forget, at the end of the season, the European Championships are here with England. I'd love to be part of it, but that was the first time in a while I hadn't made the squad. So hopefully, Roy Hodgson will see between now and then, the time he picks his squad for the European Championships, some good form by me and a reason I should be in that squad. Regardless, back to league matters for the second game of today's episode. We take on Bolton Wanderers here at Old Trafford. It's top versus bottom. Bottom, and there are absolutely no excuses for not getting a win in this game. Cleverly. I've got space here. Look at the space I've got here right in the centre of the park. I'll float towards Daly Blint. Blint inside towards Rooney who shoots and puts the ball just wide in the post. First chance there. Rooney shot off target. Prattley with a poor touch and a good chance here on the break. I've got Rooney next to me. He's making a run through the middle. Great chance here. Rooney offloads towards Van Persie who shoots and scores. And it's United 1, Bolton 0. And we take the lead inside the opening 30 minutes. Why doesn't Van Persie let me celebrate with him? There we go. Even so, 1-0 United. Played it through towards Rooney. Quick little offload towards uh, Van Persie. Thought Wheaton might have been able to cut the ball out. It was Mills actually. Thought Mills might have been able to cut the ball out. But he didn't. And Van Persie capitalised. Smashes it past the Hungarian goalkeeper Adam Bogdan. And it is Manchester. Manchester United won, Bolton nil in a game which, quite frankly, we have no excuse for not winning. Blint through towards Carrick, Carrick towards Cleverly. I'm around the back here, great chance here. And, oh, it's a penalty, penalty to United. Cleverly was taken down and it was after he released the ball there. I think it was just a coming together of the bodies. Maybe I didn't see that right there. I got the ball, I fake her one, and I was about to cross and the referee stops me from doing so. Penalty to United. Baptiste took him down. That's just, that's just unfortunate. Like, Baptiste is not trying to elbow Cleverly in the face. He's just sort of ran into him. I don't think that's a penalty, personally. Like, you, you can totally justify why it is one off the ball contact, off the ball collision, but that's just unfortunate. There is no way he's trying to take him down there. Even so, penalty to United. Van Persie's going to stand up and take it and it's saved by Bogdan Bogdan makes the save and I guess maybe justice is done, Bolton will clear and Bogdan is the hero for the time being still 1-0 Hall down the right hand side for Bolton and still Hall now towards Mills and Mills is tackled by me and we could be on the break here, I'll give it to Van Persie Van Persie to Rooney, great chance here Rooney has to give it back to me and Rooney's going to continue his run, great chance here for 2-0 Wayne Rooney shoots and scores Manchester United 2, Bolton 0 Finally, my first assist or a goal in a game for a few now. And Wayne Rooney makes it 2-0 to United. So wonderful little ball inside towards Rooney there. When he gave me the ball back, I was thinking, if you continue your run, I can't imagine the Bolton player is going to be able to catch up to you. And they didn't. Manchester United 2 Bolton nil. just hit my foot on the desk. And it's 2-0 to Manchester United. Great strike by Rooney. Maybe Bogdan could have done a little bit better as near post. But I guess I'm glad he didn't because I get my first assist of the game. United 2 Bolton nil, And my foot hurts now corner to Bolton and it's going to be Hall to take it and uh, there's no real pressure as that corner comes in it should be dealt with and Feeney actually won the ball first and almost found the back of the net there 
And there is the final whistle, Manchester United 2, Bolton 0. It was a game which, you know, if we didn't win, there would be some serious questions being asked. Top of the table, taking on bottom of the table at home. We had to get the win and we did by two goals to nil. Could have probably scored a couple more if we upped the, uh, uh, up the tempo, but we didn't really feel the need to, I guess. We did miss a penalty as well through Van Persie in the first half after Cleverly was taken down off the ball and Bogdan made the save. So it should have ended up at least 3-0. I got a 7.9. I got an assist for Rooney's goal in the second half. So I was pleased with that. My general play was a lot better than in the City game. And the reason being is because of the category at the top of the attacking category. I didn't shoot once. And that's when I'm at my best. Not shooting, not looking for goals, but looking to create instead. So that's, that's a wake-up call for me, that City game. Got to stop shooting and start passing the ball like I was at the start of the season. Even so, a 7.9 rating for me. And it was a game which we did deserve to win. Bolton had a little bit more possession, but only one shot in the entire game. We had five shots and three of them were on target. And two resulted in goals. So delighted to return to winning ways we needed to do so we had to do so and we got it done as well so that does any episode so thank you very much for watching the video really hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed today's episode of my player then please do leave likes it's much appreciated and it really does help my channel out and i'll see you for the next episode of my player very soon